Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. This is, of course, the Camp Nou, one of the best-known, perhaps the best-known of all the venues in European football. Ukraine braced for their anthem. Ukraine have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter-attacks. If you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot, it can have a, a devastating effect, actually, at the offensive end of the pitch, too. So it's down to business here. Zinchenko! Zinchenko! Over to the left. Puts it into the middle. The ball has crossed the line and it's a throw. Stepanenko just wouldn't be beaten there. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Yarmolenko. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. Battles to win it back. Chance to break. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Forward it goes. Ukraine are seeing more of the ball, but still aren't carrying much goal threat. Zinchenko. Keeps everyone guessing. Zinchenko, Stepanenko. Zinchenko. Good ball. It's one! And that's off target. Oh, it was the first touch to die for, and it set him up beautifully. to get it forward quickly. Defending of the desperate variety. <laughs> Don't 
play for a throw. Has he found his man? He's made sure that that won't get through. Stepanenko. Zinchenko. Oh, that's neat. Yarmolenko. Just deflected over the goal line for a corner. Only partially clear. Oh, nice touch. Can he deliver? He's gone for it! Keeper's not concerned by that. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. Hoists it forward, done very well to intervene. Has a hit! It's good distance on it. And it's Yarmolenko. Time whistle goes. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. And we are up to the break. Ukraine ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. An engrossing half. But we're still where we started, nil-nil. Already up and running for the second half. Ukraine clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. And let's put a stop to that. Zinchenko! That's sprayed out wide. That's a good going for goal! Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Zinchenko certainly could have and should have made more of that. And it's played forward. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Gets into a dangerous position. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. Up towards the hour mark and still no goals. Balls out on the left, now. Zinchenko. It is still anyone's game, nil-nil. Balls loose, who's getting there? Zinchenko. Yarmolenko goes for the cross. Forward it goes. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. A really good feat. 
There's a long ball. And helps available out wide. A chance to play it in. Zinchenko. And here's Yarmolenko. Yarmolenko plays it into the box. It's well blocked, and back out it comes. Played it again. Cleared away. It's a throw in. Oh, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Tries to get it forward quickly. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Cut out in the nick of time. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Just five minutes remaining now. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Yarmolenko. That's a mistimed tackle, and it is a penalty. Ukraine has been handed a game-changing chance. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. just never going to miss and it only took a little drop of the shoulder to send the keeper completely the wrong way didn't he take it well Ukraine, take... and that's that. Terrific contest, that really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny, just a goal in it, and that was enough. Thrilling nail-biting back.